pretending Steven Universe isn't over, pretending Gravity Falls isn't over, pretending Phineas and Ferb isn't over, regular show, Unis Honest. Man, I, I really have a problem with accepting reality, don't I? I do a lot of living in denial on this channel. I wonder if I should try and reflect on that. You know, get introspective and figure out why I struggle so much with this. Or, or introducing the Foot of a Ferret State of Denial Collection. Now, just like me, you can wear your denial on your sleeve. Or, uh, it, on your shirt. There's the State of Denial t-shirt, the State of Denial mug, and even the State of Denial dad hat. Each piece in this collection boasts this simple and cute design that reads, I live in a constant state of denial. And look, there I am in the background, just ha having a good time. <laughs> I'm genuinely really happy with this design. I think it's cute. I think it's silly. I think it's fun. And the shirt turned out really great. We've never actually done a white shirt in the store before, so <laughs> this is a first. But I'm even more excited about the hat and the mug. These are absolutely loot first for the Foot of a Ferret merch store, and I love them. I wear this hat all the time now, and people are only occasionally concerned. And I don't know why, but I've had this weird obsession with mugs ever since I was a kid. I co I've always collected them. So finally having my own is just so cool. You know, the inside is green to contrast with like the lavender design on the front, and on the back, I scream at you. All three of these items are up for sale on the Foot of a Ferret store right now. Now, if you want them by Christmas, you will have to act pretty fast, but don't worry, these aren't limited time products or anything. You can grab these anytime you want. Checking out the merch is a really great way to support the channel, and I think this is some of the coolest stuff we've released yet. And all the past merch is still available too, so you can check that out while you're there. So please consider picking up some new merch available at the link below. I got a new video coming out next week. It's a full playthrough of Bendy and the Dark Revival, but it's just not done yet. So as a reward for sitting through this merch plug, for the rest of this video, I'm gonna play a little bit of Boris and the Dark Survival. Is Boris time? Did you guys know that there was a Boris game, <laughs> I completely forgot that this was a thing. But I figured since the Bendy and the Dark Revival video is coming a little bit late, we could do a little bit of a placeholder, something to tide you over. So we're gonna play Boris and the Dark Survival Symphony of the Shadows. I have no idea what this game is. I have genuinely no clue what this game is. It's a few years old, but I didn't really pay attention to it at the time. So I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea what this game is. Once there was a wolf. That is a door. <laughs> Living in a very dangerous world, surviving on anything he could find, and fearing the ink demon that stalked his every move. It's scary because it, you can't see all of it. It's Boris! We're Boris. We are in a room. Everything's orange again. Let's see. Uh, A. Ooh, find more tunes in the studio. Oh, we got a jukebox. That's cool. Oh, look at him dance. Look at him. Look at him cutting a rug. Look at him go. Look at Boris go. Oh, he's so good. I love him. Oh, I'm plucking the banjo. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 I recognize this now. <laughs> I'm so stupid. This is this is the room you first hang out with Boris in and Bendy and the ink machine. I didn't recognize it from this angle. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Cause this is the stove where you make him the three cans of soup that he doesn't eat. Zero of seven. Zero of seven what? So it's some kind of top-down isometric Boris game. I assume there will be spooks and scares at some point. What's this? Oh, I got coffee. Oh, it's a coffee machine. Okay. Is this game like considered canon? Like, is this still considered canon now that Bendy and the Dark Revival is out or no? Because I want I want to know how much of this I need to be taking in as I play it and whether or not I need to do a full playthrough at some point in the future <laughs> for the probably inevitable Bendy and the Ink Machine recap thing. Zero of six. Oh man, there's a, that's at least 13 things I have to collect. Oh, man. Oh, we're up to... Uh... <laughs> 13 plus 5. 18. That's, uh, that's 18 things I need to collect. Oh, dang. So far, so nothing. Oh, hello. This is just so thrilling for me. Standing in the corner by myself. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One of these. I guess if someone wants to learn my steps, uh, they'll just have to get their hands a little dirty. They'll have to stick their hands in the poop. Uh, I guess the only thing left to do is to take this elevator into the studio. Let's see what's going on here. How spooky can we get? Day one, level 34. Okay, so what's the point of this game? What actually do I do in this game? Locate the needed supplies. Okay. Oh, here's one. We got a cog. So it looks like we need a radio, a wrench, a cog, which we've already got, a book, a plunger, and another cog. What's this? Okay, we got the wrench. We got the wrench. We're making progress. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. What? Huh? 
What did I do? New safe house tape found. So I scavenged the corpse of another Boris and got a thing? That, that was really random. I have no idea what that was supposed to be. <laughs> so we've already got two of our Count, count, Fofi, count. Six supplies that we need. And so far, not a spook to be seen. Another cog, perfect. We got a lot of hiding spots though. Something's bound to happen eventually. Oh, we got mini games, gamer. We got mini games. Safe house scrap, so we found garbage. Cool. Radio, good for tunes. Oh, spook him, spook him, spook him. That's not right. Aw. Oh, ooh. Oh, they actually do jump scares in this one. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Oh, I'm back here. Oh, come on. All right, gotta do it again. So that was one of the things that I mentioned in Bendy and the Ink Machine. It's like, it's weird when the ink demon shows up or when any monsters get you, you don't actually get jump scared at all. You, oh, is this, is this procedurally generated or something? Like this is different. I guess this is somewhat procedurally generated or at least randomized because this is a completely different layout and we got different things to collect too. Oh, oh, so this is like a Binding of Isaac kind of thing. Yep. Ooh. Did I do it this time? Ooh. There's Bendy. There's the boy. Okay, bye. We just gotta get two wrenches, and then I guess we gotta get back to where we started. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's just out. Oh, he's just out. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad for me. I didn't realize he was just out. Oh, yep, yep. He's just out, so you have to avoid him the entire time. So this works a lot differently than the actual Bendy game. And I guess maybe the, like, stinger sound effect only gets if he catches you. Okay. Cool. Oh, there's no hiding spots here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Am I able to, like, avoid him or what? Dang it. How was I supposed to avoid that? There was no hiding spots and then he was just there. What was I supposed to do? All right, we're going again. <sighs> oh yeah, we're going to different levels each time. That explains it. Okay, what do we got this time? Bone plunger, spoon spoon, radio, and book. I know I shouldn't like waste my run juice, my soup run, uh, because, <laughs> because I'll need it if I get spotted, but this is kind of a slow walking speed. I kind of don't like how slow this is. <laughs> book, all right, we're halfway there. Radio, good, okay, good. Oh. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Hide. Okay. Okay, he's gone that way. So I know not to go to the left. Mind your surroundings. Cool. Good. Stupid. <laughs> it's like trying to sneak around the like hall monitors in those old Harry Potter games. <laughs> Am I good to go up here now? Nope. This seems to be the majority of the game so far. Thinking you're safe, not being able to see where he is, and him like laser guiding himself to you. <laughs> I keep trying to go up, but every single time I try to go up, I get spotted. So it's just been completely fruitless. Plunger, good, good. Not good, not good, not good. Every time, every time, he's always right where I need to be. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> this is not particularly fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. My experiences so far are not particularly that of having fun. I know exactly what I need to do and exactly where I need to go, but the AI on this stupid ink demon keeps going exactly there. He's taking no other course of action. Thank you. He's going somewhere else. God, I might actually have a chance this time. Watch him just teleport. Watch him just be here still. Okay, got the plunger. Now we just need a bone. Where is a bone? Good. Come on, how? 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 Ah. Guys, I think this game might suck. I, 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 I'm sorry to say it. I think this game might suck, but I have I have to get one I have to get one successful round before I stop playing, right? I have to succeed one time. I'm gonna be 100% honest, losing interest in this game relatively quickly. <laughs> Grab spoon, good. Got spoon. Okay, okay. The game's cutting me a bit of a break this time. Pretty much all the necessary pieces were right where I was heading naturally, and there's a hiding spot here. Tum ti tum ti tum ti tum ti tum 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 Tom, 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 tom. All right, I just need a book. Please be a book here relatively soon and I can just get, yes, okay, good, good. Do we have, no, we don't, we don't, we don't. He's gonna get me here. He's absolutely 100% gonna get me right now. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't like this one. <laughs> All right, <sighs> cog. All right, we're starting off strong. Starting off strong with cog. Thank you. All right, we already got two. We already got two. Okay. Actually, we already got three. We already got three of our six necessary things. That's not bad. 
Hi. Yeah, sir, 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 sir. Come on, come on. Don't screw me over, game. Do not, do not screw. You know what? I'm deeming this game non-canon and therefore unnecessary for me to continue playing. Goodbye.